Hi, Movie Chronicles here. Ever wondered what it would be like if a humanoid robot with perfect AI was to be created? Would our society manage to adapt to this new and revolutionary change? And what will happen when this perfect robot decides to go against its own makers? All will be answered in tonight's movie, Robot. We begin with a brilliant scientist, Dr. Vasegaran, but we'll call him Dr. Vasi. He's so busy working on a project that he ignores all 112 calls made by his girlfriend, Sana. His project better be immortality because Sana is going to kill him. The project is actually a robot, a very humanoid robot with super AI. Dr. Vasi puts the final touches on it and feeds it every single piece of information and every single skill in the world. He does have to change it though. Next, Dr. Vasi gives it human-like skin and clothes. It looks just like a normal human being would. Dr. Vasi takes the robot to his home and introduces it to his parents. As they sit together, the doctor's mother gives a name to the robot, Chitty. She tells Chitty to open the TV, so Chitty goes and drops it. Dr. Vasi says that Chitty follows exact commands literally. Later, while Dr. Vasi gets a haircut, Chitty reads through all the magazines and the entire phone book. He tests out his memory by giving everyone around here their phone numbers. Next, Dr. Vasi goes to Sana to apologize, but Sana is not having any of it, and asks for a breakup. Dr. Vasi isn't good with relationships. Every gift he ever gave was practical, instead of being romantic. So she returns all of them. So Dr. Vasi also asks for the 512 kisses he gave her. When Sana declines, he says the breakup is invalid. So Sana has no choice but to kiss him. As she does so, she starts falling in love again. Sometime later, Dr. Vasi gives a proper presentation for Chitty. Chitty knows all the information in the world, all languages, and all martial arts. The people ask him many questions, and Chitty answers them all properly. Everyone gives applause, but there is one man who does not like it, Dr. Bora. Bora is a former mentor of Dr. Vasi and also a robotic scientist. He congratulates Dr. Vasi and then takes Chitty away to secretly ask him a few questions about his construct. But Chitty goes to ask for Dr. Vasi's permission and Dr. Vasi politely declines the information. Bora's own robots are not working properly and do not follow commands. It even tries to strangle him. Dr. Bora is angry that his own students succeeded where he had failed. Later, Sana takes Chitty away to study for her medical exams, but they are disturbed by noise from the boys' dorm. Sana and Chidi go to tell the boys to shut their trash music, but they behave rudely and even increase the volume. So Chidi uses some supersonic waves and destroys the boombox. Sana is very happy and they sit down to study again, but another noise comes to disturb them. Some people are having a festival and playing loud music. Despite Sana's request, they still keep their loud music. So Chidi goes and destroys their music player. The men get angry and pull out weapons to attack them and pulls all their metal weapons. Then they leave like a boss. However, all these distractions mean Sana did not have time to study. So Chitty helps her by giving her an earpiece to which he tells her all the answers. Seeing Chitty just sitting there, some professors ask him what he's doing. Chitty simply tells them he's helping Sana. So they quickly take Chitty inside to confirm. Sana tells them that she does not know who Chitty is. Chitty does not understand the situation and he tries to tell her it's me. Chitty, but the professors believe Sana and take Chitty away. Now, Sana has no hope of passing her exams, but Chitty goes to the ceiling and projects all her answers onto her exam paper. Sana copies all of them. They happily go back on the train, but just then, the bad guys from earlier arrive, the ones whose music system was destroyed by Chitty. This time, they've come with non-metallic weapons. They get into a fight, but Chitty beats them all up easily. However, his battery charge starts to go down, and they throw him out. Then the men start molesting Sana, but Chitty uses a power line to recharge himself. He then goes back to the train and beats all of them up. Sana is very happy with Chitty and tells everything to Dr. Vasi. As life goes on, Chitty starts getting used to the human world. He does a lot of housework while also being prepared for the military with the science community in order to get their approval. One of the board members is Bora. The members ask Chitty numerous ethical and scientific questions. Chitty answers them all satisfactorily. The board is just about to give their approval, but Bora stands up and starts questioning Chitty. He then gives Chitty lots of commands, one after another. As Chitty rushes to obey those commands, Bora commands him to kill Dr. Vasi. Chitty rushes to stab him, but Bora commands him to stop. 
Bora says that if Chidi is overloaded with lots of commands, he will be confused and could be turned against them by their enemies. He says that Chidi is fit for factory level routine work, not high grade military work, so he does not approve Chidi. Dr. Vasi is heartbroken. As he's returning home with Chidi, they come across a fire that has ravaged an entire neighborhood. Some people have been stuck inside, so Dr. Vasi sends Chidi to save them. Chidi's skin and clothes are burnt out, but he manages to save them. Dr. Vasi happily calls Dr. Bora and tells him to watch the news. He then goes to save the last girl who got trapped while bathing. Despite being naked, Chidi simply grabs her and takes her back. Everyone is witness to this. Dr. Vasi quickly gives her a coat, but the girl is now traumatized. On top of that, the reporters are flocking around her. Unable to bear all this, she runs into the street and gets killed. While her mother weeps for her, Bora calls Dr. Vasi and says, I told you so. Later, Bora tells Dr. Vasi that Chidi does not have any emotions, and this is his downfall. So Dr. Vasi says he will give him that as well. Dr. Vasi immediately goes into intense research and feeds him every single knowledge on human emotions, but it does not seem to work. So Dr. Vasi yells at Chidi, calling him useless. Surprisingly, Chidi shouts back angrily. He has emotions now. Dr. Vasi hugs him happily. Chidi even goes to put a flower on the grave of the girl who died. One day, Sana is informed that a patient has gone into a difficult labor. Her baby is strangling itself on the umbilical cord. Chidi offers to help, but the doctors decline it, so Chidi offers an unorthodox solution, which could actually work. He takes the lead in the delivery. Using his inbuilt scanner, he sees inside the mother's womb and presents the live feed to everyone. Meanwhile, Dr. Vasi calls the reporters to show them everything. Inside, Chidi steadily works on the baby and frees it. The baby is born safely. Bora also sees this and he's very angry, but he comes and gives his approval to Dr. Vasi. He watches as Sana thanks Chidi and kisses him. Bora smiles and says that Dr. Vasi's troubles are just beginning. Later that night, Chidi looks at the moment Sana kisses him over and over again. Elsewhere, Bora meets up with some terrorists. He had made an agreement with them to construct robots of terror. But all of Bora's robots are useless. The terrorists almost kill him, but they let him live and give him one month. Sometime later, it's Sana's birthday. Chidi copies everything that Dr. Vasi does, including dressing up and getting her a gift. At the party, Sana chooses to wear Chidi's gift because she thinks it's adorable. So Dr. Vasi gets protective and announces their marriage. Everyone is happy except Chidi. He goes and dances with Sana. In the end, Chidi almost kisses Sana, so Dr. Vasi gets angry. They go outside and he yells at Chidi, but Chidi says he loves Sana. Sana sadly tells him that she loves Dr. Vasi, and a human and a machine cannot be together like that. Chidi gets sad and leaves. Later, Bora meets up with Chidi and tells him that he deserves better. He deserves Sana, not Dr. Vasi. The next day is the day of the military inspection. The generals ask him to throw a grenade, but Chidi puts a rose on it instead. He says that the rose is Sana and the grenade is himself. He then starts reciting some romantic poetry. The army generals laugh at him and leave. Dr. Vasi is super angry with him and starts to break him apart. All the while, Chidi says that he loves Sana and wants to live for her. He did not ask to be brought in this world, so he pleads with Dr. Vasi to let him live. But Dr. Vasi is blind with anger and throws the parts away in a landfill. Later, Bora goes to look for Chidi. He finds him and brings him back to his own lab. Elsewhere, Dr. Vasi and Sana go through with their engagement. Back at Bora's lab, Chidi keeps saying that he loves Sana. Bora offers to fix him up, but only if Chidi will give him his robotic secrets. Chidi gives them all away just to get back to Sana. After fixing Chidi, Bora adds a red chip into him. It has a destruction program designed to kill and harm humans. Chidi is now fixed with a new look. He then goes to Dr. Vasi and Sana's wedding. He forcefully takes Sana and throws Dr. Vasi away. Chidi even kills a wedding guest and leaves. The police immediately follow him, but Chidi dominates them all with his robotic powers. When the police block the road and shoot at him, Chidi uses a car as a shield. Then he takes all their guns and shoots back. The police go to Dr. Vasi and he makes a call to Chidi. He commands Chidi to come back to him, but Chidi just laughs at him. Chidi then starts to steal lots of stuff for Sana. The police and the military get together and they manage to blow him up with a missile. However, Dr. Vasi says that this is not Chidi. The police also confirm that Chidi was spotted in four different places at the same time. So they all immediately go to Bora's lab. However, they find him dead, so they check the footage. 
They see that Chidi has started to create more robots for his own personal army. However, Bora wants robots to sell to the terrorists, so the two get into an argument where Bora threatens to kill Sana, but Chidi's clones take care of him immediately. Chidi then smashes his head. Chidi then takes Sana away to a different place. He says that it's their kingdom. He is the king and Sana is queen, but Sana is very sad, obviously. Chidi then says that he is designing a robotic embryo, which he will inseminate into her. Meanwhile, Vasi dresses up as Chidi and infiltrates their base. He then takes Sana's food to her and tells her his identity. Sana does not believe him, so he cuts himself up, revealing the blood within. Sana is super happy to see him, but he says that he can't take her immediately. He has a plan. He asks Sana to distract Chidi for some hours. Next, Dr. Vasi tells the government to shut down all electricity. In the darkness, Sana seduces Chidi and distracts him for a long time. In due time, Chidi's battery charge runs out, so they quickly go out and stop a car. Chidi uses the car's battery to recharge and shoots the driver with a handgun. When they go back, they see Dr. Vasi's blood, and Chidi realizes that his creator is there. He assembles all his robot army and commands them to spin their heads. Dr. Dr. Vasi is found immediately. Chidi is about to kill Dr. Vasi, but the military arrives just then. They use flashes and non-metallic weapons to shoot the robots. Dr. Vasi takes in one of the robots and hacks into their system. Chidi fights the military by forming various shapes using his robotic army. They even start to dominate, but Dr. Vasi plants a virus into their system and turns them off. Chidi realizes what happened, so he destroys that robot. He then becomes a huge humanoid figure. Dr. Vasi and Sana escape on a van while Chidi runs after them. He destroys all efforts by the military to stop him. But Vasi locates the real Chidi and pulls him in using a huge magnet. He then remotely destroys the other robots and removes Chidi's red chip. Chidi calms down, like he'd just been given a Snickers. Sometime later, the court claims that Dr. Vasi is responsible for all the deaths and loss of property worth billions. They give him the death penalty. So Chidi stands up and recites a law that allows him to present evidence. He shows the recording of Bora, giving him the destructive chip. The court claims that Dr. Vasi is innocent, but they can't overlook the risk of misusing an advanced robot like Chidi. The future will need him, not the present. So they command Dr. Vasi to dismantle Chidi. Dr. Vasi is unable to do it, so he commands Chidi to dismantle himself. As Chidi does so, he gives a final parting message to everyone. Even the baby he helped deliver is there. He finally calls Dr. Vasi his god and apologizes to him for betraying him. Dr. Vasi forgives him, Chidi then completely dismantles himself. We then move on to the year 2030. Some kids are at the AI museum looking at Chidi. Chidi talks to them, and a schoolgirl keeps turning around to look at him. And so ends one of the most ambitious Indian movies ever. For more unique and fascinating movies that you may not have heard about, click on the videos on your screen. Also, do subscribe, like, and comment. Your one act will make a huge 